God. Mm, mm, mm. You practice to deceive a tangled web you weave. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Let me start by saying, um, Tasha, you need, you really, really need to step back now. You need to step back. This is from Tasha to, to Latasha Scott. You need to step back and actually look at yourself. Look at the whole picture. And the first thing I'm going to need you to stop doing is stop talking about Jesus and the Bible and, and God and all that stuff. Because ain't nobody trying to hear that right now. It's almost like Mary Mary said, it's the God in me. Okay? It's the God in me. Because ain't no God in this right here. Okay? And it's you talking to somebody outside of yourself if you can rationalize the dishonesty that you are doing at this point. It's making you look bad, little honey. It's making you look real, real, real. And I don't like it. And I don't, because you're a wonderful talent. You have a great voice. And now that stank look that you got, is really a reflection of your soul. Now, everybody is not lying on Rocky. And I know most of us that have been in show business at some point of our lives, most of us have a lot of demons that we battle. You ain't the only one. Some of us battle demons to this day. Okay? Because some of the things that we've gone through and we found an outlet or something to... To, to release it through music. But one thing you're not going to do is keep sitting up here and projecting onto all of us that are watching this train work that everybody is lying on you. Candy lying on you. The tiny lying on you. Your sister Tamika lying on you. Everybody lying except you and Rocky. And now it's getting ridiculous. And as a connoisseur of gospel music, you done already turned my spirit off because I don't want to see you representing the way you represent. I'm I'm a preacher's kid. I'm a post, I was brought up in apostolic faith. Okay? And um, whatever happened behind closed doors happened behind closed doors with couples. But I've never seen nobody uh, admit and openly um, encourage or excuse their open relationship, which accounts for adultery. There's nobody I grew up with that would find that acceptable. And I know deep down, if you are in the church, that is a... A behavior that they look down on, okay? Because it's in the Bible that you shouldn't commit adultery. Okay? So don't be a half Christian when it benefits your agenda. And then turn the word all the way off when it comes to your behavior. Because that, 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 don't, that don't match. Another thing is you had a lot of people believe in you. Well, not, I wouldn't say that. Let me take that back trying to have a crack of hope when you were crying saying you wanted to get your relationship back that's for those who don't understand personality disorders narcissism and all that kind of stuff that most of us have to deal with on a daily basis being brought up in this society and so if you don't have any knowledge of it you can't identify what the hell is looking at you coming back at you in terms of personality that's why I said, when you want to talk to me, if you start that stuff with hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and all that, I, I the conversation dead. Period. And it has nothing to do with my faith or my love.
for a creator. I just ain't trying to hear all that stuff because it's always some shit behind it. When they start with that, Jesus said this, and oh, I know this, and this, that. Uh-uh. And I love scripture. And use scripture. Okay? But it's a difference. I'm not using it to cover up none of my behaviors that are uh, low down or ill-advised or uh, just downright ratchet. And you shouldn't either. So now let me just get to this. You and your husband now have been allegedly called out for accepting kickbacks. You are the you are the link, according to the history, and how this is all going down, is why how Candy came back. Right? Why you were so wanting this to happen? Is because you getting paid from it too, right? Now you want us to think those people are lying, just like the people that said they sent you a check and the address was changed. How ridiculous do you think this this is sounding for you? And if you want to salvage your gospel career at all, you need to repent. You need to repent. Now let me tell you something. The main reason you need to repent because karma is something, honey. Let me just tell you something out of experience, baby girl. The way this shit has played out is just because the universe recognized your hypocrisy. The universe, you can call it God, you can call it Jesus, you can call it Creed, you can call it whatever you want to. But this is a this is a some karm karmetic energy happening to you right now. You want to do a gospel album. You've been faking phony. You've been disrespecting your bandmates. You've been disrespecting your sister. You've been stealing. You've been stealing. You've been downright disrespectful and you got a, a, a husband that's got a wicked spirit who is now a, a, got you co-signed that you got an open marriage. And you want us to believe that while you're doing gospel. And the karmatic energy on the planet has allowed y'all to be exposed right now. Because you can't go on no more lying and cheating that way. It, this is bigger than escape versus SWV. This is bigger than all of that. This is the universe opening up for your bandmates to see and for you to repent. That's what this is all about. Now, either you're going to accept that and live accordingly or you're going to keep on trying to fake. Listen, you ain't got to feel bad about it because the universe has showed all of us lessons. And if it hasn't showed you one yet, keep on living. So Some of them are going to be on a big stage like what, what Latasha got to deal with. And, and whether you get caught and got to go to jail for some infraction or some, uh, 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 um, you know, assault or something that you did on another person and you didn't got caught and you didn't got, whatever your karmatic feel should be and you didn't got away with it, know that karma, karma's coming. And you're going to have to give an account. And the best thing you can do is is be humble and apologize and move on. But you, you know, I'm not impressed by fake tears. Not impressed with, I love you, I love you, I love you, because love is an action word. I had to learn that the hard way myself. Okay? I can't keep going around telling people, I love you, I love you, I love you, but my actions are totally con counteractive to what that means and what that says. Can't live like that. So, Tasha, I'm just telling you right now, you and Rocky are at the end of y'all ropes. And now and you're going to disgrace yourself. And there's, and the gospel album is going to be just not well received because the, the, the singer that's involved has got a 
Jezebel demonic spirit. And that's something you got to think about. So I'm done. With that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And I'm done. I'll see you in the next video.